hi my brother and sister welcome once again uh, now in this video we're going to learn angle right uh, in previous video we learned the concepts of point line segments line and ray right uh, once we have all these concepts we are now ready to learn angle so what is angle uh, it's quite simple right uh, suppose uh, I have a line uh, suppose this is a line or line segment or ray it may be anything right S suppose I'm taking it's a line uh, anything I'm giving some notation suppose this is a this is B and another line there is suppose here is a line CB or you can say BC this line or line segment whenever they intersect you they are just intersecting over here so they are making some corner here right you can say this is a corner a corner is uh, forming over here this corner exactly is called the angle this is angle or simply uh, you can see uh, the the how much intersection they are making right this much intersection they are making so how much intersection they are making this 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 intersection part this is exactly uh, this uh, this is called exactly the angle how much intersection there is or uh, how much corner there is formation of how much corner there is right there is angle uh, more the corner right uh, this this more the corner greater the angle right smaller the corner so the angle will be a smaller right so this is exactly called the uh, angle <coughs> and uh, uh, suppose uh, I have two line segments suppose one is again a and this is B and suppose another line segment there is suppose C and D now a B and C D line uh, line segment are intersecting and again we are forming uh, we are getting here formation of some corners so this is angle here also we are getting so this is also angle right this is also angle now here also we are getting some corner so so this corner is exactly the angle and here also we are getting angle so these are the angles means whenever there is uh, uh, th there, th there are two line segments or line intersect we can say there are uh, four angles formation of four angles right this is the first angle second angles third angle and four angle so whenever two lines uh, intersect to each other there is formation of four angles right so uh, to to understand it more bitterly I have actually collected some figures some photos that I want to show you here now see here uh, in this figure this boy is just jumping right and he's stretching his uh, feet his legs and just imagine uh, this is not his leg but uh, I'm doing with different color red one suppose this is not his leg but suppose this is a straight line right and another this is left side leg so this is now right side leg uh, both are going to intersect at some point here right here uh, the first this line and this line both lines are going to be intersected over here and there is again formation of corner right this corner or here also you can say the corner this corner is exactly the angle right so here this ang this this side this length and this length intersects and forms a an angle here also a great personality right Arnold I'm a great fan of this now see he's doing uh, uh, he's doing some exercise right and while he's doing exercise he has uh, uh, s made his figure something like this see suppose this this hand is a straight line and his arm uh, this bicep is another straight line again it is making an angle right so in everyday our daily life also we we have a lot of example of angle now see here whenever we do push-ups here some soccer players are doing push-ups right so yeah suppose his body is straight line right let me stretch it a little bit more up to here and this is the ground right so here again we are watching some corner formation of some corner or some intersection right once they uh, they have been intersected over here these two lines there is a formation of corners that is exactly the angle right and the best example uh, that we every day see right that's Caesar right suppose this is one line this is another line and again here is formation of angle one two three and four and another very good example that's our book the easiest of the book one side 
the length side and the breadth side right and there is a formation of angle and here in the pages also you can see here is some corner formation of some corner this is some angle right it may be some some right uh, that measurement we will be learning later so I think <coughs> you understand what is exactly angle now now after learning angle let's uh, learn a little bit deeply about this suppose uh, I have angle I have two lines suppose uh, this is a B and this is C right here a B line segment and BC line segment had been uh, intersected at point called B this B point the intersecting point is called vertex this intersecting point is called vertex and the lines that is BC and BA whose intersection makes this angle right so these lines these AB lines and BC are called arms arms of the angle arms or somewhere you can see uh, sides also right some books also say it's sides of angle so these are actually the arms and uh, this this intersecting point is the vertex right and uh, uh, I want to talk about symbolization how uh, symbolically we represent the angle right uh, you can see in the various books uh, like this S uh, slanted line and uh, a small straight horizontal line this is actually the symbolical representation of angle right this is symbol symbolical rep uh, symbolic repre representation of angle right this is uh, how we used to show uh, the angle somewhere in book you may see something like this same like this but cut at uh, middle here something like this right so it is uh, generally we do this we prefer this right this is actually the symbol of angle uh, and uh, how to name an angle now let's learn how to uh, uh, how to name an angle suppose here we are getting angle here a b c right or you can say c a b but how to write it every time see vertex should be at the middle point keep these things in mind middle however you write uh, either you can write like yeah, I'm doing with different color mm, well fine suppose uh, I'm writing angle a b c right a first I will be writing a then b and then c right right in serial wise right uh, in uh, a b c right and here what I did I did b is the vertex here right that's why I write here middle one or you can also write like this c b a you can also write like this c b a but again b is at the middle point but what is a b c what is c b a these are angles so we have to give the symbol of angle this is angle a b c right again this is angle c b a in both way you can represent in this way also right or in this way also angle ABC means angle ABC and angle CBA whenever you see something like this suppose uh, uh, well suppose somewhere you say PQR so what does it mean it means that there is angle PQR where Q is the vertex and PQ and QR are the sides or arms right so Q is the vertex so I'm making Q and PQ uh, this PQ PQ is a one arm so Q is here so I'm making somewhere P like this P right so PQ and QR is the another vertex so QR are somewhere like this here now let's join this right so PQ and QR are the vertex and Q uh, sorry uh, sides or arms and Q is here the vertex right so this is some some angle uh, it may be anything right that will be uh, learning later uh, how to measure angle now I think you understand how it is right and another thing is uh, what is interior part and exterior part of a angle uh, in often books they have discussed about this so what is exterior and interior part of an angle now suppose I have angle uh, suppose this is uh, M and O right M and O is my angle uh, sorry and M O is my angle uh, if I will represent it so it will be something like this uh, N M O right angle N M O you can also do like this also right most uh, many people do like this also so N M O what is the interior and exterior part of angle N M O just see 
this is angle and now this internal part this part is called interior of the angle interior this is called interior of the angle and this this part uh, well mm, fine this part this part is called exterior part this part is called exterior part now suppose I, I do have a point here is a point P and here is a point Q so Q is interior part is an interior part of the angle and P is here in the exterior part of the angle right so Q is interior and P is exterior keep it in mind right this is an exterior part this is an exterior part of the angle right now uh, how to compare the angles let's learn about that how to compare the angle suppose uh, I have an angle mm. suppose this is P and this is Q and let me draw this is R right and in the same vertex right with the same vertex Q I have another arm here mm, suppose M right so now I have two two angles right one is M Q R right one is M Q R and uh, another line uh, another angle is angle P Q R right angle P Q R I have two angles so which have the greater angle wh which is larger and which is smaller how to distinguish that now see the corner formed by the angle M Q R is this much right or you can say simply you just imagine just like a mouth mouth of the angle PQR or the corner of the uh, angle MQR or you can also imagine like the width of the intersection right of this MQR how much it is Th it is this much right and another mm, width of this PQR's mouth right? how much uh, wider mouth it has PQR has it has much more uh, wider mouth than the PQR right it has more corners bigger corners PQR has the bigger corner or you can say M is itself in the interior part of the PQR right I mean to say M is in interior part it is in interior part interior part of angle of angle which one angle PQR angle P QR right so M is itself within the PQR that is why MQR is smaller than the angle PQR right it is smaller than the angle PQR so le let's take some another example here mm, oh so I'm doing somewhere a little bit about here okay now uh, suppose uh, I have another uh, another uh, line something like this right uh, suppose uh, it is P point right this is P point this is Q point and this is R point right and uh, now suppose I'm taking some point uh, suppose here this is uh, mm, I, I can give anyone suppose uh, T right so again what we are getting here we're getting some two angles right one is angle P Q R and another we are getting angle T Q R right we're getting two angle one is P Q R and another is T Q R so which one is bigger and which one is smaller so again we'll be measuring how much corner they are making how much corner P Q R is making it is making this much and uh, the corner made by the angle T Q R is also the same one both have the same one right so what we can conclude that both are equal here angle TQR and angle PQR both are equal so uh, such angles are known as congruent congruent angle such angles are called congruent angle or equal angle also you can say simply so both angles are equal right in such cases angle PQR right this this angle or angle TQR both are equal because both are making the same corner they have the same corner or uh, same wideness is there when they intersect somewhere right 
so that's why they are called congruent angles uh, now I think you understand how to uh, uh, how to compare the angles right uh, so after learning this in next video uh, probably we'll be learning uh, how to measure the angle in the next video bye bye